Digestion. Meals to molecules. As a biology teacher, I love this chapter because we're going to go through the different organs that are involved in our digestive system. What happens to our food as it enters into our mouth and works its way through our body? How does our cells get the energy that's in that piece of pizza? Pepperoni in and of itself doesn't provide us with energy, but pepperoni can be broken down into smaller chemical components that do provide us energy. So how does this whole process work? Oftentimes we compare human bodies to cars. Um, we fill the tank of our car with gasoline in order to provide the fuel needed to get from point A to point B. And for humans, we fill our bodies with food in order to provide the fuel to do all the things that we need our bodies and ourselves to do. In both a car and a human, we basically use oxygen in chemical reactions in order to release energy or make energy, which is a crazy complex process. Our bodies are machine-like in another way as well. They are virtually identical to one another. So like cars, we look different on the outside. You might have blonde hair, I might have brown hair. However, our basic inside machinery is exactly the same and it functions in exactly the same way as the person next to you, regardless of what they look like, regardless of their age, regardless of their race. We all function and work the exact same way. Our engines are the same, even though we might look a little bit different on the outside appearance. Despite some of the similarities though, there are some differences obviously between humans and machines like a car. An automobile cannot use gasoline to heal itself or to grow and we definitely use the food that we eat to heal ourselves and to grow. So what we're really going to focus on this week is how do we get molecular energy from the food that we eat? So the next time that you sit down to dinner and you're eating that pepperoni pizza and you're thinking to yourself, okay, I'm eating pizza, but how does my body break down that piece of pizza into the chemicals that my cells need to make energy for me to get up and go do whatever I'm going to do after I eat that piece of pizza? So we're really going to follow the path that food takes through the digestive system, starting with the mouth. What happens in the mouth? Carbohydrates start to get broken down, you know, down the throat, into the stomach, into the small intestines, and all of the physical and the chemical things that are happening to that piece of food as it works its way through in order to provide us with the energy that we need. So really, this is an anatomy teacher's dream come true this week talking about the different organs of the digestive system.